Welcome everybody to another uh, tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to animate this monkey and um, we're going to go over frames in uh, Photoshop CS5 and the Puppet Warp tool. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go to Window Animation. And right here we have the timeline, but we're going to come over here and, cl and click this icon, uh, Convert to Frame Animation. And we're going to start off with frame 1. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create a duplicate layer of my original um, illustration here. And if you notice, he's on a transparent background, and I just filled the background here to white. So I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to select Duplicate Layer. Let's call this number 2. So we're going to think about it in frames 1, 2, and then let's duplicate it one more time to 3. So we'll go 1, 2, 3. Next, we're going to come down here and we're going to create two frames. So we have one as the original and we have two additional ones, one, two, and three. Let's go to the first one. On the first frame, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it alone and that's the original. So we're going to hide the two layers here and we're going to come over here to the second frame and we're going to select number two. Now what we'll do is come to edit and select puppet warp. This is a really cool tool uh, in Photoshop CS5 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the areas that I don't want uh, moved. So I'm going to start hitting pins around his face and around his body. And again I'm just selecting areas that are not going to be moved here. Now I'll click here and start moving his arm. And if I want to, I can move the other one. I'm going to click the direct select and hit apply. So that's one frame and then two frame. And then we're going to come back to the third one. And we have the first, uh, the first layer selected. But what we're going to do is hide that and now show number three. Next, we can, um, again, we're going to go to edit, puppet warp and maybe I'll move his head a little bit so I'm gonna pinpoint the other areas his body, his arms over the legs and this is a very easy tool to use and now I'm just gonna hit here and he, his head's gonna move just a little bit click apply Now we have delays down here and I'm going to put no delay. That, that just means that there's going to be no delay between the frames. And this is a very brief example but I'm showing you what you guys can do with the tool. And let me hit play. Looks kind of fast so I'll just loop it to see what it looks like. And it looks like he's... I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Looks like he's going a little nutty. Uh, but that's how you use the Puppet Warp tool and uh, animating frames in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.